All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Brian Lee Durfee. There it is over there on that side. Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster Saga Press. I'm going to be showing you my Michael Connolly book collection. It's where I, why I'm wearing my Los Angeles Raiders t-shirt, because... All of the Michael Connolly books take place in Los Angeles. In fact, L.A. is like one of the main characters in the book. I mean, that's I mean, if you if you've read the Harry Bosch books or the Mickey Haller books or or the um, blood work and poet, and it's all L.A. L.A. is like a big feature of these books. Anyway, let's talk about the collection. This is it. It's it's all on this shelf right here. And I started buying the Harry Bosch books in mass market paperback. That's why half my collection is in mass market. And then the other half is in um, hardcover because I eventually just moved over to the hardcovers. Because the guy ended up being one of my favorite top three, at least, mystery thriller writers ever. I mean, Dennis Lehane, Michael Connolly... Uh, CJ Box, those would be my top three, but we've got, um, oh my god, if, if I pan out here, you can see my entire mystery collection is just, like, full of, uh, I mean, I just got, I love mystery novels. Michael, Michael Connolly is one of the best. So, let's talk about some of his standalone books first, um, and we'll start with The Poet. This is, this book is really cool. The Poet, you know, it's, um, got Jack McEvoy who's also in um, <clears throat> that's a good standalone book and then there's blood work that's got um, uh, McCaleb the character McCaleb who shows up in some of the other books and then we've got these um, these uh, chasing the dime and void moon which were um, some other uh, these were about uh, uh, I think the character in these also shows up once in a while. Every book is connected. If there's a character in these books, I know that they kind of drift in and out of the other series. He's got two main series. Let's talk about those. Let's sit those over there. His two main series are his Lincoln Lawyer, the Mickey Haller books, and then the uh, big series, the Harry Bosch books. So let's talk about those. The first ever Michael Connolly novel I ever read was Black Echo, which is book number one in the Harry Bosch series. And then, of course, I went ahead and bought each one subsequently. I've been reading these since the mid-90s, so I've really been following the Michael Connolly Harry Bosch series almost since the beginning. And they all just got better and better as you went along. Concrete Blonde, one of my favorites. I will show you all of them. The Last Coyote was cool, too. You know, I'm going to be reading and reviewing all of these on my channel. I've already done a few. Um, but I like the, uh, you know, I like the way the paperbacks all sort of fit together nicely on the shelf. They've all got sort of a, a theme to the covers, you know, just kind of like a, you know, they match. I always like matching sets, which these are. The closers. Echo Park. Echo Park plays a big role in a lot of these books. And then um and then I started buying his once the leak and lawyer came out, I started buying all of his books in hardcover. Because I'm like, I just, I might as well move to the hardcovers. So the Lincoln Lawyer came out in, when did the Lincoln Lawyer come out? Let's take a look at the uh, date here. 2005? Okay, I, for some reason I thought it was a lot sooner than that. But anyway, now I, then we got the, now here we've got everything in chronological order. Sprinkled through here are some Mickey Haller books and Harry Bosch books. But they're all cool. This one, of course, The Brass Verdict is a Mickey Haller. The Scarecrow, 
I remember when the Scarecrow came out. I was really excited to read this because I loved that cover. And then also Nine Dragons. I think this was his trip when he took his when Harry Bosch took his trip to Hong Kong. Can't remember. Anyway, it was either Hong Kong or Shanghai. But anyway, then we've got just a mishmash of Mickey Haller and Harry Bosch books all the way up to these last three. And I do believe I have dropped a review on my channel of all three of these. Because Harry Bosch's um, daughter becomes a main character. You know, in these first books, his daughter's just really young. And then his daughter starts to become one of the main characters as she gets older. She actually becomes... Um, and, then, and then another character, Renee Ballard. Um, and then there's also the... Uh, the Late Show. Which one was the Late... Where's The Late Show? Yeah, The Late Show introduced us to a new character, too. Um, yeah, Detective Renee... This is the first Renee Ballard novel, I believe, The Late Show. It was pretty cool, because uh, now we've got... Now we've got not only... Uh, do we have Harry Bosch and Mickey Haller, but we've got Renee Ballard. And not only that, but we've got Harry Bosch's daughter, who uh, also is in the police force. And so, just... I love them. I don't know what else to say. I just thought I'd show you all my Michael Connolly books for those of you that are into that. And if you're not into it, just please pick one up. Go ahead. I would say if you want to um, do a standalone novel, this one's the best one, The Poet. If you want to just get a flavor of um, how Michael Connolly writes, just get this poet. It's a great, great serial killer novel, kind of on the lines of Silence of the Lambs. And then, but if you do want to start with the Harry Bosch books, I suggest start at the beginning with Black Echo and work your way through them all. Now, they all are standalone mysteries, but it's just funner if you read them from beginning to end because of all of the different storylines and stuff that go on. Anyway, I'm about out of breath. I didn't realize talking about Michael Connolly like this would just wear me out, but it did. Wore me plum out.